This Audible original gave me a chance to focus on two things I really think are important. The power, the potential of government to transform people's lives for the better. Uh, and it also gives me a chance to talk about how the power of government can be used to really hurt people. The great thing about this Audible original for me was it was like giving me a chance to think back over my life, over these books, and to remember things about them that, that I had forgot, like about this moment when I suddenly realized you had to talk about the powerless and you had to do it in detail. You couldn't just do it in detail about the people who had the power. You had to show its effect on people. People are always asking me why I picked Robert Moses and Lyndon Johnson to write about. Well, I must say I never thought of my books as the stories of Moses or Johnson. I never had the slightest interest in writing the life of a great man. From the first time I thought about writing biographies, I thought of them as a means of illuminating the times of the men I was writing about and the great forces that shaped those times, particularly the force that is political power. Why political power? because political power shapes all of our lives. Why did I want to do this Audible original? I'll tell you one very personal reason. So I give talks and lectures to me. Sometimes when you're talking to people or giving a lecture, you suddenly say, oh, that's a thought. That's a real thought. But as soon as the lecture's over, the thought is gone. An Audible original gives me a chance for the first time to talk about some of my thoughts in a less formal setting, more personal thing than in my books. That's what, really what this original is about, you could say. My journey learning about power, you know, uh, all the different aspects of it, from the Texas Hill Country to the United States Senate, you know, to these expressways that cross New York. What do I hope that listeners take most from this Audible original? I hope they take an understand, more of an understanding of political power. Most of all, I want them, particularly in this, these times, to remember the power of government. It's almost as if today government is often regarded as a bad. When we see Lyndon Johnson passing Medicare and Medicaid, Civil Rights Act, the Voting Rights Act, you suddenly say, remember the power of government to transform people's lives for the better. <laughs>